Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Just bumped into a group of like 20, 25 young lads from the UK who all watch the videos. So shout out to you guys. But after today's session, I got a small camera out. That's for a reason. It's a real intense session. One of those sessions where pulling the camera out is not gonna be easy. I've just done a 30 minute sweet spot effort and I'm gonna jump into some two minute maximal race winning race winning efforts kind of things. I'm just coming up to start my two minute intervals in the next 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put the camera away and focus on hurting myself. <laughs> Shout out to you. I've been wasting so much time. I can get you out my mind, yeah. Do you think you can keep this real, baby? Two and a half hours later, finished up with my intervals. We're like half an hour from home, riding back along the coast. This is the first, well, second opportunity I've had today to bring, to pull the camera out and speak to you guys. I've had a hard session today. I've been doing some two minute like race winning efforts. It was like a short sprint into a zone five tempo interval into another sprint and I had eight lots of those and like that's one of the things I seriously like I'm well I'm working on at the minute something that I really lack is my repeatability for that short intense duration. Like I think that's one of the reasons if not the main reason why I lost that race to Lawrence. I just couldn't match that. Like once we sat at a threshold I just couldn't match his change in pace and because of that he just pulled away. I come from an anaerobic sport like my background from BMX racing where it's a short intense effort but after one effort you have a big long break before the next effort. So for me that's just something that I'm really trying to work on at the minute. I would say it's one of the hardest types of training that you can do but it's also one of the most beneficial. So I had eight intervals to do today. I would say five with like real quality intervals. The other three Ended up being a little bit messy, but nonetheless, it was a good session today. Managed to get everything done that I wanted to do. And now I'm just cruising home in the sunshine. The Calpe Sun is back. All right, following day. I'm out early this morning. It's around eight o'clock. As you can see, the sun, the sun's just risen over there behind me. The reason I'm out so early today, or early in, in retrospect to like other days, because the rain's coming at around 10 or 11 o'clock. So today I'm doing a shorter session. It's only gonna be like two hours in length, but a real intense session. So we've got this climb just out of Calpe called the Vanessa climb. It's like a dead on 10 minute climb. So I'm doing four, four reps. Quite a lot of people are here this morning to get in a, uh, to get in a session before the rain comes. So I'm doing four times 10, pretty much just flat stick, wherever I can hold. The first two intervals are done now. It's been decent so far, but now the tiredness is really starting to kick in. I'm gonna to have to keep real focused now for the third and fourth effort. And all being well, I'm gonna get home before this uh, before this storm moves in. Let me tell you something one more time. You were running real slow. I'm the one to stay low. Beat you from the window. Yeah, it's all good though. Takes two to do the tango. I don't play the game slow. Damn sure that's a shame though. The way what it was. Fuck wrong with your head, baby. Cause you fuck your friends lately. Bitch, I can't guarantee his safety. Don't do this to another man. Just keep it real. Mm hmm. That was grippy. That was really grippy. I got sweat dripping off me. So I rode out with a friend of mine today. He was just uh, back a little bit on the climb, but that was four efforts there at 10, well, four times 10 minute efforts at over threshold, which is just so hard to do. I managed to do it though. The legs were good. I'm happy with my numbers today. And uh, and it stopped raining. So from like 12 o'clock onwards, it just gives 95% chance of, of rain and storms all day today. But before then, it's just like rain showers. We've had a couple this morning. It's currently dry. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of a ride now before I go back home, before the rain starts. I don't know, at the minute I'm just trying to get my legs working again. That was hard. And if any of you are into the numbers, head over to my Strava, you'll see it all there. Is my kit gonna be here? I left the balaclava, yes. I left them there whilst I was doing the efforts because it's quite hot, it's quite hot today. We're at that point before a storm when it gets real hot in the air. We started heading inland after the last effort to try and get a little bit of a ride before before the rain comes, but uh, it just started raining, so we've turned around, we're gonna head home. Because we've done our training and I don't wanna get wet. Managed to get in around two and a half hours in the end. Yeah, two and a half hours it was. As expected, it did rain. It's been 
It's been raining all day. It's just actually stopped raining right now. So I was thankful and it paid off going out training a little bit earlier than what I would normally do. As I talked about in the video a few days ago, the reason that I'm so nervous when it rains, the reason that I'm so apprehensive of riding in, in the wet weather when the roads are wet, is just because how slippy they are. Like I know from driving out a higher car when the roads are wet, they are absolutely lethal. And if it's possible to avoid riding on them, then it really is beneficial to do so. This is only a training camp. There's no, we're not racing. I don't want to break my collarbone before the, before the season even starts. The videos over the past couple of days have been a little bit all over the place, as has this one right now. My only excuse for that is the uh, the training over the past few days has really required my full attention and focus and the, the video and the, the vlog in the camera has had to come second to that. But hopefully we can get back on top of that again now moving forward. But guys, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.